Thanks, Matt. A chase that began in Lake County ended in Orange County with one man dead and another in handcuffs. A deputy stopped chasing the driver as he entered Orange County and soon after the suspect hit another car, killing the driver. News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza is in Lake County for us tonight. So Vanessa, you talked with the sheriff's office. Why did this deputy stop? Matt, I asked the sheriff that very question as well as the lieutenant here at the Lake County Sheriff's Office. I'm told that that deputy began pursuing that driver because that driver ran a red light. So the deputy, I'm told, had to make a very quick decision as to whether or not to pull that suspect over and if the cost outweighed the risk. This crash in Orange County left a 19 year old man dead this morning. His car was hit by a man a Lake County deputy was trying to pull over minutes before the crash happened. The deputy pursued this subject at it was like 1 15 in the morning when he saw him blow through the red light. Lieutenant John Harrell with Lake County Sheriff's Office says the deputy tried pulling the driver over, but the car didn't stop. As the deputy got close to the Orange County line, they decided to pull back. And it was literally like three tenths of a mile inside Orange County there in the town of Oakland, this car lost control and crashed into an oncoming driver. So there was really not a whole lot that we could have done differently. Within the past year, the Lake County Sheriff's Office changed its pursuit policies. Now, according to the Lake County Sheriff's Office, they only pursue people if they're suspected of committing a forcible felony or people who are considered armed and dangerous. Lieutenant Harrell says driving through a red light doesn't fall into that category. They have to constantly be evaluating the circumstances of the pursuit and if at any time the speeds get to a point where it outweighs the importance of the offense that they are believed to have com committed, then the deputy needs to step back and I believe that's what he was doing at that point. I asked Lieutenant Harrell, who you just heard there, if the Lake County deputy alerted an Orange County deputy, letting them know that there was quite possibly a dangerous drive driver heading into their jurisdiction. Lieutenant Harrell tells me at this point in time, that is unknown. Matt. Vanessa Ariza live for us. Thank you.